I've got my suit on for uh, <laughs> Wait, what's your official here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but these are all like biblical places like Jericho and Galilee, uh, and they were right where the Dead Sea Scrolls are found. Uh, and apparently, they rank the holy sites here. They were top ten here, and, and out of the top ten, most of them are still mined and inaccessible. So this is really interesting. So I'm gonna pass over to Heidi now. Hello, everyone, and thank you all so much for being there. It's had a very full day. Uh, we met with another extraordinary group called Beautiful Israel, and they would like to actually help Bruce to Peace create wines from minefields in Israel to be sold worldwide. And again, the proceeds, percentage of the proceeds would help generate funds so that on biblical sites, whether we're Catholic, Jewish, or Muslim, that uh, we may truly embody our mission of turning minds into vines. So he uh, had lost his leg. He really hasn't lost any of his spirit. He uh, really just a normal child. Seeing his progress from the day he stepped on a landmine that one year later, uh, the prosthesis that he has, the courage that he has, um, getting ready for school, doing his homework, and playing sports. When he woke up from his first operation and on, his, on both his legs, he said to his parents, I want to make sure that no other child is hurt landmines again in this country. So we want to make sure that, that his call is, is, is uh, achieved. The passing of the bill that is uh, 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 pretty sure will happen in the next uh, week or week. We have a golden opportunity to do to be the first to do humanitarian demining in the Holy Land and uh, basically demonstrate and model how it should be done in mining, replanting, and rebuilding uh, both in Israel and the West Bank. And we've chosen for a pilot project which uh, cover basically the four main regions that are mined uh, Israel and in Palestine, the Golan Heights, the Jordan River Valley, the Arba Valley, and the West Bank. As soon as we can come up with, with the money, do one of these, hopefully all the four of these during 2011, we Roots of Peace would be uh, modeling how the mines should be done uh, in Israel and Palestine. We have the right network of connection both in the Israeli government and in the Palestinian Authority. Make sure we we would be the one who will be positioned to do the pilot project. Um, much depends on you, there's much on your shoulder. I know that uh, uh, Roots of Peace is also uh, trying to get uh, governmental funding uh, from the U.S. government. Yes, and uh, the meeting we had today with, with USAID, uh, the message was that, uh, that they would put money, they would join in if they see that there is public-private partnership. They won't, but they won't risk putting their money unless they see that there is some private money also coming into the project and then they will join. The holy lands are not holy when there are landmines in the ground. And there's an estimated 1 million landmines in the West Bank alone. And these are sacred sites that the world recognizes, whether we're Catholic, Jewish, or Muslim. The Baptist site of Jesus is called Pasha el uh, the, the, uh, This is also the site where Elijah uh, rose into heaven and where the the same river where Moses crossed into Canaan. So this resonates not only with Christians, with, but Muslims and Jewish alike. And if we can find common ground for peace in the Middle East, not only in Israel, but across the, the, the towering walls that have been built, tonight we will spend the night in Bethlehem and I will be returning to the same site, a very lovely woman, Fadwa, who is just a tremendously courageous woman, and so we are really crossing borders but to see the magnitude of that wall that has been built and the words that are inscribed upon that wall calling for the world to have peace. There's doves. Why are these walls being put up? We hope to gently take these walls down and from the bottom up, from a grassroots perspective, truly plant the root of peace on earth now. should close this. So I'm going to ask
because it really is about children. Website, the archives, and sent up to the NBC for them to watch the photo. 